Hello guys, Gaming Lime here and welcome your faces and fingers back to another episode of Better Than Venga on FM18. And in today's episode we are going to be playing two Manchester clubs. We are playing Manchester United in the quarterfinals of the Champions League first leg. And then we are playing in the Premier League against Manchester City. Uh, since you guys were last with us, uh, we have had a mixed result. Um, we beat Reading 4-0, we then lost to Leicester 1-0, uh, then we beat Aston Villa and we beat Stoke. So we are up in third in the Premier League, which isn't that bad. We are uh, a few points ahead of Manchester United in the league and we are five, six points behind Chelsea as well. Um, so as you probably saw at the beginning, I'm going very, very defensive. We are probably going to be playing this formation um, against Manchester United and Manchester City uh, just to try and get something. So we've got Leno in goal, we've got Bellerin, De Ligt, De Vrij, Tierney, Suri as a defensive midfielder, Dembele, Arthur, Xhaka, Forsberg and Lacazette up, up top on his own. We've taken most of the team instructions off apart from retain possession and get stuck in and we are going defensive and we are going to structured so let's get into this game uh, we want to get as many points in the pre Premier League as we can so the game against Manchester City I will probably be doing this formation as well Manchester United have pretty much lined up exactly like we have so this could be a very low scoring game um, and obviously this is the Champions League so I don't think it's about pretty football in the Champions League we want to try and win it we want to get as far as we can um, so we need to we are not one of the best teams in Europe uh, by by a long way and so I think when we come up against the bigger teams we need to change our formation and play slightly different um, you've seen in the league and in the FA Cup that we can't beat certain teams um, Dembele, Lacazette oh, that would have been a good goal good start to the game if he'd scored there um, we can't beat the bigger teams so we've got to change the way we play against them um, it's no good sticking to the same thing and then getting beaten every single time um, so yeah that's why I've changed it up I'm hoping it's going to do us a job. Um, midfield and attack need to be closer together. No, they don't. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I fit, I'm hoping this, this works. We'll see. Uh, there was a bit of a, a preview before the game. And out of, I think, we've only beaten Manchester United twice. Um since I've been manager they've won four times and I think we've tied three times um, so yeah that's not good enough if we want to um, if we want to be up there we need to win these games or get something out of these games and then we need to stop losing stupid games like the Leicester game where we lost 1-0 so half time 0-0 not really anything happening to be honest um i'm gonna say give everything you deserve to win this match and let's go and do it uh yeah let's say that see if that gets us some any motivated um we have got two legs to get through as well so i think we just keep it like this as long as it's tight if it's nil-nil in the first leg, we go to Old Trafford, we do the same thing again, and then maybe towards the end of that game, try and steal an away goal. Um, that would be the ideal opportunity, I think. So Marcus Rashford has just come on here. We've got about 30 minutes left to go. Um, Lacazette's not having a good game. I just think he's isolated up there, to be honest. He's probably not getting any service. We've had four shots, one on target. Um, I am going to make that change. I'm going to bring on a Bamiang. Uh, let's bring on a Bamiang for Lacazette. 
how is Jack and Arthur are playing okay Suri's playing okay you know what I'm gonna bring Suri off bring Ramsey on and put Xhaka as that holding midfielder see if that does anything maybe Ramsey can unlock a, a killer pass or something again I'd be happy with a nil-nil they've just brought one matter on 15 minutes left to go here and bring Mkhitaryan on. I'm going to bring Mkhitaryan on. Mkhitaryan on for Feuchberg. And then we'll swap Dembele and Mkhitaryan over. There you go. Last 10 minutes here. Just hope that they don't nick an away goal. That would be, that would be tough to take. Because we've actually played very well. We've done our job. This is exactly what we set out to do. And we just hope that they don't steal it right at the death. There's three minutes here to be added. Injury time. And we've got a chance here. Or is this a chance? Or is this going to be the last final whistle? A Bamiang. Deflections everywhere. That is the full time. There is full time over. The whistle hasn't gone yet. There goes the whistle. It's a nil-nil in the Champions League against Manchester United. I tell you what, it may have been a boring game, but that is exactly what we set out to do. And we got the result that we needed, we wanted. Um, so I'll see you guys for the Manchester City game. Just the one change for this game against Manchester City. I'm going to bring in Ramsey for Suri and drop Granit Xhaka back to that defensive midfielder position. Um, let's see what we can do here. If it's a nil-nil, boring nil-nil, um, we might change it in the last like 20 minutes and, and go for it. We are the home team. Um, I did put this on control rather than uh, defend like the Manchester United game was. Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I don't think Manchester City are as good as Manchester United in this game. So uh, we may have a bit of a be better chance, I think. Man City are all the way down in fifth. Um, and they're quite a way off as well. I think that they're, they're like, what, they're eight, seven, nine points uh, behind Manchester United in fourth. I think we they've said that we're one win away from confirming Champions League uh, position, which would be good. Um, but again, I still think we could possibly catch Chelsea. Um, we've got tough games coming up in the Premier League. There's an own goal that will do for us. Um, once we get that one goal then we can sit back and actually defend uh, against these better teams. As I say, I don't think Manchester City are a better team than us in this league this season. Um, so in real life, yeah, they're by far the better team. Um, but in this game right now, they're not. So I think we should be winning this game quite comfortably even if we was on an attacking formation I think we would still probably have enough to win this game but we are went one nil up with 20 it was only 16 minutes gone um, we are on that defensive formation so hopefully we can retain this even if we win one nil that would be a decent result guarantee ourselves Champions League football for next season and then we can continue going on and trying to close this gap here. Um, it looks smaller because we've played a game more than Chelsea. Um, and Chelsea play later on this weekend. Two minutes of injury time to be added on in the first half here. Xhaka has just doubled our lead. So we can score in this formation which is um, good to see. And I think I'm still going to go with it against Manchester United in the second leg. Uh, that will be in the next episode, though, of uh, Better Than Wenger. That will be episode... What are we on now? 35 now. That will be episode 36. So if you're watching this episode live on Wednesday, uh, come back for the second leg of the Champions League final on... or second leg of the Champions League quarterfinal 
on um, be Friday. If not, there'll be there's always a playlist um, on my channel. So yeah, go check that out if you've missed any of these episodes. Um, thank you guys for commenting and and giving me some advice. I got some very good comments um, over the past few weeks. Um, I do try and reply to to them as much as I can if I remember, but a lot of the time I forget to do it. I see the the comment and then I forget to reply. But thank you if you have left a comment and everybody that leaves a like and everybody that watches, thank you very, very much. So let's get into this. We are 30 minutes away from a very good result against Manchester City. Um, let's see what we can do here. Will we make some changes? Let's make some changes. 20 minutes to go. Let's bring uh, Bamiang on. And let's bring, let's bring Mkhitaryan on for Fuschberg. And we'll swap Dembele and Fuschberg, uh, Mkhitaryan over. We'll keep it like that for now. Last 20 minutes of the game. Like I said, 2-0 up. And an, an own goal by Belletti. And then a good goal from Granit Xhaka. Last 15 minutes here. I'm going to make one last change. I'm going to bring Rob Holden on to play in Granit Xhaka's holding defensive midfielder position. Because apparently he can play there. Give Granit Xhaka a little bit of a rest for that second leg. It's only a few days away in game. So we will see this out. Let's go to defensive. We don't need to push for this anymore our goal difference is superior to everyone in the top six uh, Liverpool the only real chance of uh, catching us here they're only what four points five goals I mean there is the final whistle um, it's been decent I think uh, two games um, we didn't lose either of the games so the the game against Manchester United in the first leg of the quarterfinals of the Champions League was a little bit of a, a stalemate, but we've got ourselves into a, a position where we could go through. Um, we haven't lost that game. We don't need to go and chase it. Um, we kept the same formation for this game against Manchester City, and we've come up with a, a very good result. I know we're at home, um, but any win against Manchester City is decent in my book so if you did like this episode uh, please leave it a big thumbs up if you did like my change of formation let me know down in the comment below and of course if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys next time